Hey Aries, it's Dana. Deep Thoughts with Dana. How you doing? We're fixing to do a reading for the Collective of Aries for the month of February. We're going to do it start from finish. I don't have any cards laid out. I have the handy dandy screen and screen thing there so you can see the cards as I talk about them. Aries, this is a general reading for the Collective of Aries, right? Uh, if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. And to tell you the truth, even if you don't have Aries in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. It may not. If it doesn't, that's okay. Don't try to walk a mile in somebody else's moccasins, right? Don't do that. However, I do have to say that this is not a personal reading for you. As much as you may see yourself anywhere in this reading, uh, maybe it hasn't started for you yet. Maybe you're in the middle of it. Maybe it's already happened for you. If you see yourself anywhere in this reading, I can guarantee you that this is not your personal reading. The only way to know your real journey is to have your cards read. See, the general readings are about the thread, the planetary energies, the motion of the planets and how they all line up. That's the thread that goes through, right? Because on YouTube, everybody talks about the same thing. Usually, everybody talks about the same thing. That's because that's what's happening energetically in the planetary positions. But individually, when you drill down into your own life, the only way to know your true story is to have your cards read. Okay, so don't make any life altering decisions on my general tarot card readings or anybody else's. Okay, it's a forecast. It's a general forecast. All right. If you want to reach out to me, I am at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Let's get this going, Aries. Let's get this going. So spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Aries with me, and Aries wants to know what you know, Spirit. What does Aries coming have, it, have coming down the road for them? What is the next energetic transition that Aries is going to go through, Spirit? What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to understand? And what is it that Aries needs to be prepared for? Spirit, as always, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret interpret your messages, but to explain them to Aries in a way that Aries can apply to their lives. Please give me eyes to see and ears to hear. Spirit, I'm going to shuffle these cards three more times. I'm going to cut three times and I'm going to pull 15 cards off the top. Spirit, please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring Aries the information that Aries needs to know for the next energetic shift. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Eight of Wands. This reading is probably going to be about some kind of communication or energetic shift. Let's see what we got, Aries. The Three of Pentacles. Disregard for skills. A lack of teamwork or collaboration. The King of Wands in reverse. Ruthless, nasty, maybe even angry. The two of wands in reverse. This is going to talk to us about fear of the unknown to the emperor being Aries and the empress in reverse. We'll see what that's about. The hermit, soul searching, introspection, the nine of swords in reverse, hopeless despair, four of cups in reverse, a missed opportunity, six of cups, something from your past, something familiar, family, home, memories, nostalgia, the queen of cups in reverse, emotional security, the removal of feelings, princess of swords, formulating a thought pattern or communication, the devil, Maybe an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. Maybe it is a sense of sexuality. Maybe it's something that happened in the past. The lovers in reverse, a misalignment of values, a breakup. King of swords, truth. Ten of swords, endings. Six of wands in reverse. I'm going to pull some extra. That was 15. This will be 16. Six of wands in reverse. A fall from grace, a state of disrepute. Four of Wands, this is foundation, structure, stability, soulmate, to the Two of Cups, um, a love relationship. The Moon in Reverse, releasing fear, Seven of Swords, betrayal, deception, Four of Swords, contemplating in a defensive posture, Ace of Wands in Reverse, Three of Cups in Reverse, Ten of Cups. What else? 
All right, we're going to stop there. That's going to be our stopping point with the root cards, okay? That is the stopping point with the root cards. Now let's do some clarifying. Now I'm going to go through this and I'm going to clarify this. It might not make a lot of sense to you as I do it. Um, I'm going to put a timestamp in the box below where you can... Um, where you can uh, fast forward to where the reading actually starts. Uh, there will be, I think, an extended reading to this reading. I'm not sure. We'll see how much clarification that we can get in um, this basic reading right here. Um, so I'm going to clarify. It might not make sense to you, but that's how I work. Okay, and then we'll go back and we'll read it straight from the top. If you'd like to learn to read tarot, there's a link in the box below to Tarot School. I have a seven video series that will teach you how to read tarot like I read tarot. All right, Aries, let's see what this is about. So we have the Three of Pentacles to the King of Wands in reverse. The Three of Pentacles is talking about... Um, no teamwork, no collaboration happening. There's no communication happening. Um, not only communication, there's no energetic connection happening. To the King of Wands in reverse, this is... Um, this is you, Aries, having fallen out of the good graces of somebody else. That's true. But you are thinking about the Empress, right? Because you are the Emperor right here, Aries, right? You're thinking about the Empress, your soulmate, your counterpart, to the Sun. Happiness, success, and vitality is what is on your mind. You don't like being in reverse, right? You want to be the King of Wands in the upright. You don't want to be the King of Wands in reverse. This is, this is about failure. Yeah, look, the Seven of Pentacles, lack of success and reward when it comes to happiness with your Empress. And the Queen of Swords comes in and says, you're about to change some of that. You're about to change some of that. Two of Wands in reverse, fear of the unknown. Ah, oh, yeah, look. To the devil, fear of the unknown to the devil because of things that have gone down in the past between you. Yep, look, the Knight of Pentacles for a long time now, Ace of Cups in reverse. There has been no creation. There's been no sharing of emotions. Um, and you have repressed emotions about this whole situation. Who? You, the Emperor Aries. You want to change this situation. You want success and achievement, right? But your Empress has a creative block on you right here. Um, your Empress is not talking to you. Your Empress is creating nothing with you. This causes the Five of Swords, right? This is all about conflict, betrayal, loss, defeat. You think, you either think that this Empress has these feelings about you, or you have these feelings about your Empress. But the King of Cups comes in, the King of Feelings and Love, and says that you cannot deny the feelings that you have for this person. You cannot deny. Look, the Five of Cups in Reverse says you want forgiveness. You want to come out of out of heartbreak, sorrow, and pain with the Three of Swords. The Hermit, you're doing some soul searching and some introspection as to how you're going to handle this whole situation. You are doing some serious soul searching and introspection to the Nine of Swords in Reverse. This is hopelessness and despair. Look. To the Queen of Pentacles. Now, hmm, this is interesting to me. Hold up here, Aries. Four of Wands in reverse. Okay. Hold on. Tell me about... Okay. That's exactly what I thought. Okay. 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 So this is bringing another person into the picture. Okay. This is bringing another person into the picture, the queen of pentacles. This is somebody that actively holds title in your life. Cause remember this empress is in reverse up here and they don't, there's no creation happening between the two of you. 
and the Queen of Pentacles comes into the Four of Wands in reverse to the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and says that the person that's holding title in your life right now, you're going through a transition and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse is about a lost opportunity. This lost opportunity um, puts you in the energy of the Hierophant, right? Um, commitment. Diversion here. Okay. No, 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 no. So what this is saying is that you are committed to this person, right? Seven of cups in reverse. Diversionary tactics don't want to be to the knight of cups in reverse. Removing your feelings. Removing the sharing of feelings. So you're, looks like you might be breaking up with somebody here, Aries. Breaking up with somebody because you have the empress on your mind. Let's see. Four of Cups in reverse. This lost opportunity. Contemplating this lost opportunity. To the Six of Cups. Wanting to reunite and reconcile. Look to the Five of Wands in reverse. An increased focus on goals. So your new focus after this breakup that you're going through right here is to have an increased focus on goals when it comes to reuniting and reconciling with somebody from your past. This Empress in reverse. To the Lover's card right you want to align you want to engage you want to align and engage queen of cups in reverse talks about the removal of feelings right to the nine of cups which is dissatisfaction you are not satisfied with the fact that this empress has removed her feelings from you right the fool in reverse comes on top of this this is about uh reckless foolish naive so it tells me that this empress has removed her feelings from you because you were reckless because you were reckless and foolish and you're very dissatisfied with the current state of the situation Four of Swords in reverse, right? You want healing in this situation, but you're at a crossroads because you don't know what to do about it. Princess of Swords says you want to communicate, right? You want to communicate with this person to the Ten of Swords in reverse. You want recovery and regeneration of this situation. Eight of Swords in reverse says that you want to release the mental imprisonment and be open to change, be open to a new perspective. To the Devil. <laughs> and the chariot. You want to be open to new perspectives and you want to actively move forward to reach out to this person from your past so you can reunite and reconcile after you tie up the loose ends with some kind of breakup right here. The devil. This is what happened in the past because it is clarified by the lovers in reverse, right? This is a misalignment of values. To the king of swords, somebody spoke some truth, somebody threw down the blade and brought it all to an end with the king of swords right here. But now what you want is the six of pentacles. You want to give and receive with this person that things were not good with in the past. This person who either spoke some truth or you spoke some truth and it all came crashing down. Yeah, look, the page of swords in reverse. This is all talk, no action, undelivered promises. And the moon in reverse is about repressed emotions because of it. That's what's happening here, Aries. The Six of Wands in reverse. This is a fall from grace, a state of disrepute. To the Four of Wands. You want to change the fall from grace, the state of disrepute, into a committed, stable, structured, foundation relationship. relationship. Sorry, I have the hiccups. Um, in a Two of Cups relationship. Because you feel that you feel soulmate. You feel soulmate with this person. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Lovers. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Devil. We have the Devil twice. And the Empress. You feel soulmate connection to this person. Can't get them off your mind. The Moon in Reverse. This is releasing this is repressed emotions okay about the seven of swords the betrayal and the deception from the past four of swords you are contemplating in a defensive posture to the ace of wands in reverse the three of cups in reverse contemplating in a defensive posture delays frustration eight of wands Okay, you're contemplating in a defensive posture about the next move that you should make because there has been nothing being created between the two of you with the Ace of Wands in reverse. Nothing. Delays, frustration, nothing being created, right? Um, but the, the 
Eight of Wands comes in and talks about wanting an energetic shift and reaching out with some communication to the Empress. Yep, look, you want to talk about the Three of Cups in reverse, a third party situation, which could possibly be this Queen of Pentacles over here, um, and the injustice of it all, the injustice of it all. Nine of Wands in reverse. You're a little defensive and hesitant, though, because I think you might have to uh, admit some things or fix something that has gone terribly wrong. Page of Pentacles in reverse. This is short-term focus, right? This is what you're thinking about doing right now. You are planning and thinking about how you are going to approach this person right now as we speak. Now, this is a general reading. I'm sequestered to if, buts, and maybes. But if this were a personal reading, we could know exactly who, what, where, when, why, and how. So this Three of Cups right here um, was the culprit. This is why there was the breakup, the misalignment of values in the first place. And I think this, this is the Queen of Pentacles. Now this can be flipped around. This is a general reading, like I just said, right? So put it where it fits, Aries. Yeah, Eight of Cups, walking away, uh, disappointment, despair, moving on. Yep, that's what you need to talk about. That's everything you need to talk about. The Queen of Wands in reverse. This is... Uh, this is, uh, hmm, let's see, just for a second before I speak on this. What's this Queen of Wands in reverse? What's this over here? Oh, yeah, the Six of Swords. Okay, yeah, regretful but necessary transition. So that Queen of Wands is representing the failure of the relationship before. Yeah, look, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, uh, lack of ambition, lack of focus, right? So this communication that's coming through with the Eight of Swords is going to be all about um, the lack of focus, the regretful but necessary transition, the walking away, the third party situation, um, all of that stuff. That's what the communication is going to be about. And look, the King of Pentacles to the Emperor. You may very well be thinking about a Taurus um, as the King of Pentacles right there. And the Emperor, of course, is Aries. Um, this King of Pentacles is representing your desire to communicate everything that was wrong and um, present yourself as relationship material this time around as Aries, as the Emperor and success and achievement. The Emperor is an initiator, right? So this tells me that you have had just about enough of all of this and you are going to take control of the situation and you are going to... Um, take control of the situation. So let's read this from the top, okay? Let's read this from the top real quick. And then I think we're going to do the extended reading about um, who this person is and what happened in this relationship and how they are going to receive you when you come back their way, okay? Anything else? Nothing else? Nothing else needs to be said here. Okay. From the top, let's do a timestamp at 1450. Okay, 14, I'm sorry, 1750, 1750. Here we go. All right, Aries. So you are um, disappointed, right? With the lack of success, the lack of reward, the lack of achievement in a situation where there is no teamwork and collaboration. This situation is directly about an empress, the empress to your emperor, Aries, because the emperor is your card. So you are, you are disappointed with the lack of success and achievement when it comes to your empress. The sun card says that uh, you want success happiness, vitality in this situation. You want happiness with this Empress. But up until now, with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, we reverse there's been limited success or reward. Queen of Swords says you're about to speak some truth that's going to change that. The Two of Wands in reverse. You have some fear of the unknown, though. Fear of the unknown because of the Devil card and the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. You have fear of the unknown because things went sideways between you in the past, and it's been a long time since you've engaged or shared any feelings with this person or them with you. The Emperor. This is you, Aries to your empress who is in reverse, which means this empress has either cut you off or you have cut off the empress. But either way, there is no creation happening between the two of you. Let me check this camera. 
Yeah, it's still going. There's no creation happening between the two of you. The Five of Swords, because of betrayal, deceit, deception, mind games, shady behavior in the past, hence the Devil card. The King of Cups, you have a lot of love for this person, though. Five of Cups in reverse, and you want forgiveness, and you want to move on from the heartbreak, the sorrow, the grief, and the pain of having this Empress disconnected from your life. The Hermit. You're doing some soul searching and some introspection to the nine of swords in reverse about a hopeless, a hopeless situation. The hermit is the card of Virgo, as is the queen of pentacles. You may be involved with a Virgo, might be, might not be. Virgo somewhere in their chart. Somebody just acts like a Virgo. But you may be involved with a Virgo because you're doing some soul searching and some introspection about a hopeless situation with the Queen of Pentacles. This is the person who is in your life right now. Four of Wands in reverse says that you want to transition away from this person. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It's not working. The commitment between the two of you is not working. Seven of Cups in reverse with the Hierophant. Seven of Cups in reverse talks about diversity versionary tactics knight of cups in reverse talks about withdrawing your feelings so it looks to me like you're breaking up with somebody here um aries you're breaking up with somebody because perhaps this empress is on your mind and you know it's really really hard to find somebody that compares with an empress not even the queen of pentacles can compare with the empress all right four of cups in reverse what you are doing is contemplating and reevaluating what happened between you and the Empress, okay? Not this Queen of Pentacles. This is the relationship that you're either in right now or you are getting out of right now. You will be getting out of this relationship. I don't know if it's happening for you at the moment right now, though, okay? But you're, you're getting out of it. You're withdrawing your feelings. You don't want to be with this Queen of Pentacles anymore. Okay, whoever this is, she just represents somebody that holds title and position in your life and you're releasing yourself from that. Okay, because you have the Empress on your mind. You're contemplating and reevaluating what happened between you and the Empress, right? Six of Cups says that you'd like to reunite and reconcile. The Five of Wands in reverse says you have an increased focus on goals to reunite and reconcile with this Empress from your past into a love situation. Right now, with the Queen of Cups in reverse, there's no love. There's no emotion being shared between the two of you, and this dissatisfies you. The Fool in reverse says that uh, perhaps one or both of you acted in a reckless manner, right? In a reckless manner that ruined this relationship. The Four of Swords in reverse says that you would like to heal this situation, but you're at a crossroads with the Two of Swords, right? You're at a crossroads to the Princess of Swords because you're trying to formulate a thought pattern as to how it is you're going to communicate with this Empress, the Devil, right? The, the Devil is the second lover's card in the tarot. The devil card, you know, love isn't always the ten of cups. Love isn't always just rainbows and unicorns, right? Sometimes love has a dark side to it. Sometimes love has a very complicated side to it because of various different reasons, okay? And I think that's what this devil card is representing because it's followed by the lovers in reverse, right? This lovers in reverse is about a misalignment of values values. Something happened between the two of you, you and your empress. Could it be this queen of pentacles happened between you and your empress? Um, but there was something that caused some kind of toxicity, a misalignment of values, and the relationship dissolved. I think it's this Queen of Pentacles that you're breaking up with now. I think this Queen of Pentacles got in the way of this relationship somehow, some way. Okay, whatever. It's a general reading, right? Put it where it fits. Ten of Swords in Reverse. You want to recover and regenerate this relationship with the Empress. Eight of Swords in Reverse. Hence the Princess of Swords, right? You're formulating a thought pattern. You're coming out of the mental imprisonment and you are going to be open to new perspective um, when it comes to resurrecting this relationship. And the Chariot comes on top and says, you're pretty damn determined. You're pretty damn determined to take action, to move forward, to have giving and receiving and sharing with this person. The King of Swords, right? Um... 
I'm going to change what I said before. It's kind of similar, but this King of Swords is you speaking truth to the Ten of Swords about why all of this ended, okay? You speaking your truth about why this relationship in the past ended with the Empress and why you want to reunite, reconcile, and heal the relationship. You're speaking your truth about all talk, no action, undelivered promises, and your repressed emotions with the moon in reverse right um hold up you are speaking your truth about the fall from grace the state of disrepute you want to fix this situation you're speaking your truth about the four of wands wanting to come together into a harmonious committed relationship to the two of cups about a unified love relationship the moon in reverse says that you want to release your fear and deal with your repressed emotions about the betrayal and the deceit that happened between the two of you you're contemplating in a defensive posture with the four of swords your next move because of the ace of wands you're wondering if this person has a lack of motivation what's been going on what's been happening with this person eight of wands says you're about to communicate and have an energetic shift you're about to communicate about the three of cups in reverse the stifled creativity between you possibly because of this queen of pentacles you're breaking up with justice in reverse going to speak your truth about the injustice nine of wands you're a little defensive and hesitant though page of pentacles in reverse um, because nothing has been happening between the two of you eight of cups it's the relationship is still in a state of despair right it's still in a state of despair queen of wands in reverse you're you there is no success there is no achievement in this situation um the queen of wands in reverse is about the disappointment and the failure of the relationship in the past to the six of swords the regretful but necessary transition the lack of focus this is everything that you want to talk to this person about you're going to present yourself not only as the king of pentacles relationship material long-term goals success but as the emperor as well this is the emperor this is you aries taking action to change this situation and lo and behold the ten of cups is the outcome card it's the last card there will be happiness and success and harmony in a unified relationship and that is your goal and that's what you're looking for Aries all right so this reading is over I am going to move over to Vimeo two bucks two dollars we'll get you the extended reading to this reading and what we're going to talk about is who this person is and how they feel about you Aries namaste